morning guys welcome to a brand new day by day vlog I woke up with energy I don't know if you can tell I love this shirt I bought it it's new it's not it so cute I'll show you guys when I'm out of the car I love it I also bought myself a new dress which I almost wore today you're probably wondering why do you need to dress today Laura well today is a Father's Day weekend and we are headed out somewhere fun where are we going Sam to Toronto. Toronto is the biggest city closest to us. Is it closest to us? I think so. I mean, there's other cities closer to us, but that's the It's the big city. city. It's the big city, the closest big city, huge city. Um, and it's about two and a half hours away, and we are headed there. Why are we going to the big city, Sam? It's my dad's birthday. It's Father's Day Father's weekend, birthday. but it's also Sam's dad's birthday, and we go every single year. I'm excited. Why am I excited, Sam? Do you know? I'm excited. It's plant day. It's plant day. It's plant day for me. I love seeing Sam's family. His parents are amazing. They're getting older. They like to just stay at home and do their own thing, so we always go there to visit them, and they're resting. I call it the resting stage. One day, Sam and I are going to rest. Already at the resting stage. Yeah, Sam's stage. at the resting stage, but our kids are not at the resting stage yet. And I'm not at the resting stage yet. So we're going to be there, though. I know. I told God when I wanted to have Gabby and Sophie, I said, I just want to have these next two babies, and then I'll rest. And he said, okay. So, so we're not quite at the resting stage yet. His parents are, so we're headed there to visit them. But the reason that I'm the most excited is because his family, his dad is Italian. He moved to Canada from Italy when he was... 12? No, he was like... 19? 17 or 18. 17 or 18, and he has a green thumb, and they, Italians, grow tomatoes like nobody's business. They're all about the tomato. So he grew us, he always grows us some plants. I can't wait to show you guys. I'm excited about my tomato plants. Been waiting to finish my garden to get these plants, and today is finally the day. So let's go and see Sam's dad's plants. <laughs> Before we get there though, I want to show you guys what I carry in on long trips. First of all, we're in Gabby's car. And I always bring my purse full of stuff. I got these squishies. I like bringing squishies. People think they're just for kids, but I love the feel of them. I think it's so fun. And because I'm hyper, I like to be busy all the time. It really... It's fun to have a fidget with me. So anyways, I brought these, I actually just found them in my closet. So I grabbed them. I grab my little purse that I put on. It's like a little sling bag that I put on in case I need to carry, in case I need to, in case we're like out someplace and I don't wanna carry my purse. And I bring my phone because I read. I read books every single time. Every single time I'm in the car, I read a book and I read it on my phone. So let's talk books for a second. Um, right now I'm reading a book. I think Alice Hoffman is the author. I used to read all of her books years and years ago and I found this one and I just decided to read it randomly. And what's interesting about this book is that it's almost like a collection of sh short stories, but it's not. It's a bunch of, uh, each chapter is a chapter in the life of a house. So it's all the people who bought this house. It's a farmhouse. It's every single person who bought this farmhouse um, throughout the whole house's history. So it's like, goes back from the 1800s all the way up until I think I'm 1969 right now and I'm close to the end of the book. But it's the story of every single family that's ever lived in this house and how it goes from this really amazing farmhouse to this derelict house and like the history and it's just, but the stories are really good. It's like these stories of these people and the stories are so dramatic and so shocking and so incredible and so lovely the way that the story of our lives always are. Even you, who's sitting there on your couch thinking my life is boring, your story is beautiful. Anyway, I'm really enjoying it. It's a bit hard to go from like one amazing story and then it never really ends and then you go to the next story because the people move out of the house. Doesn't it sound like a good book though, Sam? I know, it's so write good. One like that. I know, I should write one like that. I've always wanted to write. But alas, I am not a writing kind of type. But do you know who Jack is? is for. Do you know who is a really good writer? Gabby. Gabby. Is, Gabby can write, you guys. She probably gets it from Sam's mom, who's an author. Comment below if you are a reader, what you're reading right now. Just type the title of the book that you're reading right now. I'm really interested. I, I as readers know. You get inspiration from what other people are reading. So comment below what you're reading right now. We brought so many eggs. We brought goose eggs and duck eggs All right. and more eggs and more eggs. 
bring this in. There's a preview of my plants. Don't they look gorgeous? Moly, these are not even tomatoes. These are ginormous. They're well, huge. At the, at the beginning, they were this one here. Then I gave up on this. So I started the little ones. And those that grew bigger than the other one. So, so, so you, those are my, those are, wow. Okay, just wait. So, he, okay. That's those, are, those are yours. And you already got tomato. Look. We, it already has a tomato. Yeah, I think it's I coming. More I'm excited. Right? And that one is yours. I have so much room. Over so, well, there, it's got three tomatoes here. These ones? See? Yep. All right. So, which ones are ours? One. Okay. Two. two and all that. Okay. And peppers. Yeah, I, peppers? I, yeah, I only have one pepper. And zucchini. Good. I love them. What else do you want? More tomato? Um, can I have some green onion? Because even just a couple, because I want to grow them. You can't grow them now. Oh. Yes, you can. If you cut this off and plant yeah, the... That's not for growing big. Yeah. I, I've never grown dill before, but I want dill. So how do you process that? This is the dill? Yeah, man. Oh, I'll have to read up on it. I love it. Look at all this. Okay. Oh, all these. I'm so excited to plant them. So excited. Look at all the little flowers on there. Those, Each one of those will be a tomato. Put them over there so you don't forget. Okay, this one too. Yeah, grab them here. Don't grab it there. Thank peppers. you. Peppers. You made them? How did I you? I grow them, yeah. Yeah. From seeds? Yeah. So those are peppers and those are zucchini. Zucchini. Yeah. So what kind of tomatoes? The ground. What kind of tomatoes are they? Are they oh, all good tomatoes? Different kind. Are they like um, small tomatoes? No, well, that, there's only two small. Plum? Are they plum? No plums here. No. I don't like plums. Great. You don't like plum? No, because I put my Italian tomatoes on this year. So they're big tomatoes, most of them? Roma Roma tomatoes? So, some are sun. Your grandfather put the log. So this is this is it. This is like so much stuff. Somebody this is it so cool. Since this is a gardening vlog, obviously, I'm going to show you guys their little garden. So this is his little vegetable garden. Like in Toronto, you only get a little tiny backyard, and he has so much amazing. Is this rhubarb? I have no rhubarb, and I want. Oh, it's zucchini. My zucchini is tiny. And then his peas. Don't know what that is. But look at his lettuce. My lettuce is so little and his is so big. How do you keep the, the rabbits out of your lettuce? They're very big up on lettuce. Those are your potatoes? Oh, so you've already... Then they're going to go down and dig them out. Yeah. So once the flower comes out and then two weeks later after they kind of go down. Yeah, I, 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 those are cool. That is a lot of plants and I am so excited. We took care of Gabby's car. We put down a big huge tarp. Oh, these smell so lovely. Oh, the smells smell good. Mm, I know, they do smell good. All right, thanks for carrying everything. Thank you. The dogs are so happy. They're like, yes, you're home. My son comes and lets everybody out and checks on everybody when we're away. It is 4.45 and I have to get all this in the garden before we have to do chores. And everything looks like it's kind of starting to wilt. So <laughs> wish me luck. I'm going to show you guys. In the buckets right now. What? They can, they'll lie. Anyways, I'm going to put them in. Because oh, we're going to have a heat wave soon. I want them All in. Right, Molly, out of the Get garden. out of my garden. Anyway, I'm going to count uh, five, four, three, two. Ta da! <laughs> everything's a little bit wimpy and limpy right now because I transplanted them. A couple of days and everything will be better. I also need to get some zip ties and zip ties all the plants to my supports. But finally, we have a garden. We have a garden. I love it. Whew. And then over here, I'm going to get, I'm going to build something that's a support for all like my squashes and stuff to grow on. I have an idea. I'm going to get Sam to help me with it this week. Tomorrow we're at a horse show. But it is super cute, you guys. Look, it starts all the way up here with all my beans and my peas and my lettuce and then all the tomatoes. 
and there's peppers, one, two peppers, and then tomatoes, 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 and then down here I've got a dill plant that has seen better days, and I have some green onion, which is my favorite. My favorite thing to do with green onion is to chop it off because I only use the top part. I don't like the bottom. And then I just leave the bottom in there and it keep it continues to grow all season. I have green onions all season. But that is it, my beautiful garden. I gave it some water. Uh, I'll come back out and give it a little bit more water later. I'm exhausted. But this whole time that I've been out here gardening, I've had Ellie on this side of the gate with me and I had Posey on that side of the gate with me and it makes me feel so loved. Posey was begging me to go in there and pet her and love on her, so I'm gonna do that in a little bit. She ran off after like an hour of me not paying attention to her. I said hi, but, so I'm gonna do that tonight. But yeah, that's my garden for today. Can't wait to show you it next week when it's looking, when it's thriving. It's actually crazy how something so simple as putting plants in the ground can give you so much peace. Every year I try and put a theme to my, to my life, something that I'm striving towards. And this year I want it to be peace. I want to live in peace. And so far it's been so peaceful. They all heard us. Everybody's here. <laughs> Hi lady. They're like, yeah, they're here. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Hi. Uh oh. <laughs> They're all running. There's Willow. All the babies are crying. That is a welcome home, you guys. Look at your baby coming right to you, Sophie. All right, let's go feed. You know that one person with the most annoying sad voice? Like, there's just that one person. It's our little, our new little boy. He has the worst voice ever. No, Look at all the horses up in the barnyard though. They're all up there, happy. They're all like, feed me. <laughs> Every night the chicken comes in, she just flies in on her own, but we've noticed something very suspicious tonight. Do you guys see her? Do you see her? Do you see her? <laughs> We're thinking maybe she's broody. I mean, that's a good spot for a nest. It's not a good spot to poop in the hay that the chick the goats eat. All right, yeah, grab her. Yeah, but I mean, I, me. Yeah, you grab her. She's, <laughs> she's not happy. You grab her. I love her. Here. <laughs> I'm not getting back. Don't peck me. Are you okay? Don't peck me. She's oh, broody. She's <laughs> shaking. Yep, there's, there's eggs two eggs. eggs. <laughs> Bring them in and we'll make a nest. Three. Three? Here, take this off. Get the egg. Well, they're toasty. All right, well, let's go. Okay, so Sophie, we came inside. <laughs> Sophie's making a new nest. <laughs> These eggs are not fertile, though. We're going to swap them out with green eggs. We're going to swap them out tomorrow with golf balls. No, green eggs. So we have... Oh, okay, yeah. Let's let her hatch some eggs. Right, oh, look, there's your eggs. That was unexpected. Uh, we're gonna feed her, so if you got to feed her. She sees them in there, she's looking. She's looking down at them. Anyway, the weirdest thing. So as she laid two eggs out in the field, she laid two eggs out in the field there, and what was weird about them was that they, she must have laid them in there and then they rolled down and cracked on the ground. So she must have been like trying to go broody for a few days. Look who I found in the horse area. Hi big guy. Look at how healthy he looks. This way. He might look fat on the camera. He's not though. He's so much fur. Look at that's all fur. But he looks healthy and happy. Yeah. You are the cutest little thing. Look at her little belly. She's just got little tiny bits of blonde. She's got blonde highlights. Hi, Gracie. Hi, Willow. Storm's butt. Look at <laughs> What? They're the boss of you now? Storm. You are slipping. Look at you guys. <laughs> you're the boss, you're the second boss. 
Is that how this is going? Shoot, come on. Oh, it's Dormy. Oh, you are beautiful. Come on, come on, don't go. Jeez Louise. Come on. She's scaring the heck out of me. Stop. Come on, Boosie, run. <laughs> oh, man. Stop. I do not like Posey in the horse field. She can get out of this field. I don't know how she's doing it, but she can't get back in, which is annoying, but we have water up there for her and water down here for her that she can reach. She's really nice. Oh, man. Where was she? Mm, she's... We give her a an egg every day. <laughs> she was really mad. She was like, where's my egg? Good night, Posey. I'll see you in the morning. You're my favorite girl. <laughs> I feel so bad. <laughs> so he's like, what about me? I'm your favorite girl. Anyway, that is it for today's video. We are headed to a horse show tomorrow. Far away horse show. Um, and I guess oh, we'll see you. We'll see you there. And thank you guys so much for watching. I know today wasn't super interesting for you guys because it was just a garden video, but but it had to get done. Don't you know that you're beautiful?